Okay, now the um, the last thing I want to do in this very brief overview is um, just to show you that uh, most of the existing WordPress functions work as um, work as you would expect. So, for example, the menu across the top here, apart from the My Sites bit, which is multi-site only, um, allow you to create a new post, upload new images, create a new page. There's also a project, which is a a custom post type, which may be useful, and you can also add a user. Um, this Orbisius uh, allows us to create a child theme and that, that allows us to make some modifications should we need to in the template um, um, and, uh, and then those uh, are in a child theme which, which means that basically updates to this theme framework won't upset the modifications that we've made. So that's just good practice. Okay, so, so let's go to now the dashboard for this particular site, Autoboss site, which is a subdirectory, uh, a subsite in a subdirectory. So I'll just leave that page okay. So here we are in the dashboard, and, and this is the Autoboss one. Yep. So we've got our normal stuff happening down the side here posts and pages and media, and all of that stuff there. Um, we also have membership functions here, which we're not going to use in this particular site. Um, Okay, so, so if we uh, go to all pages there, we can see that I've really only got the, 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 the sample page, which I'll probably trash shortly. We've got the front page, which is what we were looking at, and then also a page um, for the blog posts. Now the reason I've set up a blog page is really just because of this setting here in, in settings reading. What I wanted to do is uh, um, just make use of this function here so that our our latest posts don't just by default appear on the front page they appear on a page that we can specify so our front page is called front page um, and that's a static page and then the, uh, the the blog naturally falls on what we have called the blog page however we can also put our posts on um, other sections uh, of the website as well using the uh, page elements that we were looking at earlier. Okay, so if we want to create a new page, it's uh, the same as in an, any kind of WordPress website. So we can add new here, or we can add new page here. So let, let's do that. We'll, we'll create a new page. And um, initially, it looks just like a normal WordPress new page. We um, add the title of it here. I'll just finish, I'll just wait for it to finish loading there. Yep, okay. So we shall call this um, test new page. Yep. Um, and, and over on the right hand side here, we can save it as a draft, we can publish it. Um, these are the um, S2 member restrictions up here for the whole page. Um, and we can select a template. We're just going to leave it at the default template for now. Um, but we can also select a blank page which we'll look at later. Okay, so at this stage I could just treat this as a normal um, WordPress page, put some text in there, I'll publish it. No one's going to be able to find this page because it doesn't have a menu item linking to it, but um, so we could, it's safe to play here. Um, and now I'll, I'll view this page in a, in a new tab. Okay, so just like a normal WordPress um, website, we've got our header at the top with our menu up there and our sidebar on the right hand side, and there's our, there's our test new page. Okay, so that's fine. I'll just close that tab back in the edit page here. Now I'm going to use the Divi Builder instead. I probably will have lost that text, or maybe it's in this text element now. Oh yes, there it is there. Okay, but what I want to show you is now, now that we're in the Divi Builder, we can load from a library of layouts. Just be careful, these are not templates, these are layouts that only apply to a particular page, but these are pre-configured ones. So we can, we can try a sales page, for example. And it'll just populate the page with a whole bunch of things that kind of look like a sales page. So I'll just update that there. 
and, and, and these elements are pre-filled with you know sample text if you like and sample imagery so I'm just waiting for that to update and then what I'm going to do is have a look at this page in a new tab remember we use the sales page layout okay here it comes this is a bit slow because I'm using my phone here tethered um, there you go so that's the sales page these things can all be um, modified um, there are there are other layouts as well um, we can do a, a portfolio we can do um, a page with the right sidebar which is kind of similar to the default template in WordPress um, a portfolio grid you can do a project a blog a shop um, splash page landing page contact us all these are possible here so um, what we might do is just do a um, um, let's see a home page basic pop that in and that's going to replace our existing content and I'll just update that and um, in a, now I'll be able to view that page do that a new tab and there you are that's that same page with um, all of these elements on it as you can see okay and editing that content is a matter of clicking on the three lines there the three lines there these are all draggable as well so for example here I can drag this blurb to replace that blurb um, so it's a drag and drop interface I can move whole sections it's actually pretty easy to do this yep the only thing you have got to be careful about is that if you edit one of these elements um, make a change then you have to save and exit here right and then you also need to update the page here and then you're sorted okay so that should be enough to get you started and as I mentioned there'll be more documentation as we go along